Hey guys, DragonBlaze23 here, no I'm not a guy, thanks for asking, and today we're going to be playing a game called To The Moon. Now To The Moon is probably a game that a lot of you haven't heard of, but it's a really sweet game. I'm going to be honest, I've already played through the entire thing, but I did that at the beginning of the year and I was like, this is awesome and I wanted to share it with you guys. Also a big shout out to Lapis for introducing me to this game. I just, I hope you guys like it, and if you do, make sure to tell me, and we can record more of it. So we're just gonna do a little session of it today. Alright, let's get into it, sorry. And this will also be a chance for me. And I forgot to tell you guys in the intro, I'm going to be trying to, I guess, work on my voice acting while doing this, so we should be uh, pretty interesting with this. <coughs> Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit the hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Hmm. We'll, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. I know my left from my right. <laughs> Whoops. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Smoking hot pepper. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I have forgotten how to move- oh, there we go, I forgot, it's clicking. Whoopsies. <laughs> hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. I love the dynamic between these two. Need to breathe. Tweed. It's not a boulder, it's a rack. Who put a boulder here? <laughs> Maybe it's the security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Oh, oh pff, wrong word. <laughs> Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. <laughs> I relate to Dr. Watts. Hmm. Abort mission and go home. No, I'm kidding. Uh. Hmm. Let's, let's push it by hand. I, I think I'm pretty strong. Alright, on three. One, two, three. See, look how strong I am. I'm super strong. I. I don't even. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. It was a rack! Uh, we need to get going for now. We'll... we'll figure that thing out later. Right. 
Oh, I'll get over there eventually. Oh, that's something. Oh, it's a square. I forget how big this place is. <laughs> I'll get over to the door eventually. Hello, housekeeping. Housekeeping. It's a pretty talented kiddo right there. Ma, they're here. It's like every horror game ever. They look out the top window while they're at the door sitting there like, mm -hmm. here's a pizza. Not a bad oh. <laughs> words. Not a bad place to retire at, at, huh? I could do better. Wow, night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. I don't know if I'm. Just, it's like sort of a what's it called? Hyperbole or whatever. I don't know what it's called. What's the thing where you say something that's opposite? Uh, I don't remember. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blabbering, they won't. You're just so sassy. And your eyelids would- I feel like if that door was open, not open, he would die. <laughs> Don't forget the equipment, moron. I love this. They're, they're such a great team. I, I relate to both of them. I don't get paid enough for this. Just bag it up. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, cool. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosalina, I presume. I feel like that's a good voice for Lily, yeah? Thanks for coming out on short notice. But that's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths at will. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. Well, look at them, look at them eating around. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid's death we're dealing with, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. I'm gonna mix up so many voices, this is why I can't do multiple voices. He's upstairs now with, the, with his mental <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna mess up a lot of things. It's kinda late and I was already talking with people. He's upstairs now with his medical doctor. Come with me. He got a pretty nice place though. Like, let's be honest. Like, if you were dying, be like, I this is pretty cool. Come on, grab that case and let's go. My back breaks one day. I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Alright, well, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Well, now that you've mentioned it, let's take a tour of the house. No, okay. <laughs> oh, immediately, immediately you say, hmm, that, that fireplace is looking really nice. Go upstairs. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll be nice to Dr. Watts. <coughs> okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyways.
those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteor. Meteor- what? Meteor? Meteoroid? How do you guys pronounce that? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, come on. By the way, if you guys hear me, like, get quiet, or, well, I guess you wouldn't be hearing me, but if I'm quiet at some points, it's because I'm, like, letting you guys listen to the music, like, in the cutscenes, because those are great. Hello there, doctor. How you doing? He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. I guess, I guess we should talk to her. I thought we were gonna like do the thing. I was like, right. ready to set up? I mean, I'm, I'm down to set things up. You guys should like totally get this game though, and then you get to like explore more. You get to do things. You won't have to wait for me to record the next episode of this and like put it out, which you know, my luck would be a month. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. Totally, definitely, 100%, you know. So fancy. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezer's just ge getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. If through two years I've worked here, he barely spoke. He worked as a craftsman most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. Oh, That's sad. I don't really know many details. I would've known more if I was a paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. Oh, I forgot we need to look through it, the house <laughs> for the game. Oops. But in general, you guys should like to look at this game because it's sweet and it's cool and it's awesome. I love it. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for two you two. Hmm. So be it. All right. Which one of us plays detective? Hmm. Who do I want to be nosy? I think I'm gonna go with. Rosalind. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt tr print in this chair. Right. Do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. But I want to be nosy on my own. I don't I don't need children to be nosy. I can be nosy all by myself. You get to it. That's pretty. Right, I should probably I, I won't I won't continue to explore even though I want to. I'm a nosy person. But I'm still saying that you guys should totally get the game. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Oh, hello. You, you could have said something, you know, whenever you just like, yeah, he going to die soon. But I, yeah, take this. You'll need it out there. It's dangerous to go alone. Oh, yeah, I can tell if he's dead by the time I walk down the stairs. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. 
is now activated in the menu. I can tell if he's gonna die. I would not be a good doctor and be like, hey, you dying. You dying, son. You a dead boy. I love the piano music. It's so beautiful. Gosh. What you want? Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother asked, said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay. Maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing. That's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. My plate there is safe when we do our chores. Get it for us. We'll give you a tour of the house. What do you say? Well... Yeah, sure, I'll go get it for you. My mother used to keep ha candies on her high shelves, too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen's the door. It's right next to the stairs. Now go. So rude, little child. You're like, I'm gonna eat your candy cane. I can tell my right from my left, I promise. Is this the kitchen? It's been so long since I played this game. Is this the kitchen? This is not the kitchen, but I'm gonna be nosy. Sure. I don't know what I'd store water for, but why not? I don't think there's much else to do here. I love the piano music. Maybe this is the stairs they're talking about. Is it? I feel like not. Something's telling me it's not. Oh, yep, okay. Thank you, game. It knows I'm directionally challenged. It's like, hey, stupid. Not over here. The other stairs. There we go. There's that candy cane. I'm too short. I relate to that. Can I get a chair? Can I can I steal this chair? Oh, that works too. I don't know what I pushed, but that works too. I have received a candy cane. I I have a candy cane now. Now to give it to the children and be like, give me this. Terrible calories. Can I turn on the lamps in here? I know. Oh, yes, that's so much better. Now I can see that this is a kitchen. <laughs> so I just, I love piano music. Maybe it's just that, that I like piano music, but, uh, yeah. Hello, dear children. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come with me, come and give me a tour. At this instant, I won't sneeze on it. <laughs> I relate so much to Dr. Rosaline. Okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like the funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the key- oh, wrong voice. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in his study. Alright, well where's the study? <laughs> Listen, all I've found is the bathroom. Is this the study? Yeah. This is the book room. The key to the fine room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Y'all small fries need me to get it. I'm like the big cool kid, you know, I, I do all the things. Is this it? Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who admitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Hmm, that can't be hinting at anything. Good passage. Uh, maybe another year. Oh, found the room key. <laughs> he chose his hiding spot well. Yeah, definitely. I don't think I've ever actually read that book series though. Hello, small children. Oh, I turned off the lights, we need those. <laughs> Just a bunch of books in here. Nothing I don't know about, though. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Till one day I threw him back. He needed a band-aid. 
Oh, you little Dini's child. Alright, let's go do the thing. We can open a funny room in the basement now! Yes, we can. Yes, we can, child. I hope it's dark in here. Where's the light? It's the basement. We play hide and seek in here. Turn on the light before you trip over some. Oh, thank you. Is this a light? This is a light. No. Oh, what? That words. I used to buy all kinds of cool junks in here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. It probably had mold on it. What's your, what's your, what's your down here? The lights were out. Tommy fell down the stairs. He chipped a tooth. But that's okay, because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> I like Sarah. Sarah's a sassy child. Oh, I guess, I guess it is that door over there. Don't mind me. It's been almost a year since I played this game. The door is locked. Open the door. Mm -hmm. No, oh, that's ominous. Hello. Room service. It's like a cave in here. Did you order a pizza? Is this a light? This looks like a light. Oh. Yeah, that's a little creepy. A broken music box. Boy, had some problems. A rabbit folded out of paper. A stuffed toy platypus. It's so cute. I wish I had that. That looks adorable. Like, I know this is supposed to be creepy, but... <laughs> it looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. It might come in handy. I kind of want to take it. I want to poke it at the same time, though. Can I poke it? Oh, it did a little flop. Can I sit it back up? That's adorable. I love that you can either poke it or sit it back up. Let me take the toy for that, of course. He's so cute! I love it! Hold it out of paper. Yeah, I don't think I can go much else in this room. It's a little, a little preoccupied. I'm just... Scoot on out there. Oh. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing! The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. He killed the man in there. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You are not supposed to go in there either, are you? <laughs> I love this kid. I relate to them that so much. Remind me never to take you two to Neil's house. I mean, I would want to take her there and be like, Hey, break into things for me. <laughs> so you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but uh, let's go see the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Well, let's go check out that. Old, let's go check that old lighthouse out. Need to let's go, my children. I am the bad influence for today. Luckily, I still know my way around basically enough to like be like I ah, guess. It's so pretty out here. I love this. Like, there's nothing I don't love about this game. It's a beautiful game. There it is! Hey, Dad. This one. We need to head south to the street to the and take the other path to get down to it, though. I forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> oh. I don't think you want to parachute down there, buddy. It's a little bit of a drop. Oh, oh I thought we were like doing another cutscene because the way out was slow. I was like, ah, uh, hello, Mr. Cutscene. Oh, I forgot. I can use arrow keys. I'm so used to W A S D that it's like if it's not working, then clearly nothing else will work. Don't worry, guys. I remember how to get down there. I promise. I just oh, oh where am I? I'm sorry. <laughs> Help! I've been lost. I thought I was one of the children at first. That's why I was like, "Where am I?" It's here. What? Huh? Me and Doctor Rosalind have the same response there. My novel, to Beach Ball. I thought I lost it. Oh. Ah. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Uh, there's no time to wait. 
Okay, done. Okay, let's just turn you to that lighthouse. People are dying, child. It's smoking. Who didn't tell me that crashed a car? <laughs> Boy, sound like he came out of a hood or something. Not me. You right? You know? It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We, pro we roleplay it anyway. We roleplayed away and started writing about it. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all the evil. Oh, that's, uh, nice. And do you roleplay too? I, uh, no? She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just children watch. Watch me be the best role player. I'm gonna roleplay all the animals. What's that? What's that lot snoring? Ooh, a squirrel. I think I pronounced that right in the children voice. I don't even know. Can I pet the squirrel? No, I'm just gonna like, nah. Yeet the squirrel. No, I should probably talk. I wanna, I wanna talk, talk to the squirrel. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. How is you this funny? Oh, I angered it. Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone. <laughs> don't worry, children. I'll protect you. They're just like, what's wrong with this lady? Is he sleeping? What? Yelling and helping louder. Loud, louder, loudest. The loudest. Your, uh, time is at an end, Squirrelgon. Yay! Stop it! But Tama, you animal <laughs> Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. What? I, I was just- I wasn't gonna- Didn't you want- say you liked roleplay? I feel so bad, cause she's just like- I, I was fitting in with the cool kids. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just forget this happened. Oh, that bird's like, I ain't forgetting nothing. I saw everything. Just walking in the night with some children. It's a good thing I'm not a serial killer. Ooh, look at that ocean, though. Hold on. What is that over there? Oh. What's this? Ooh. Hello, Mr. Rock in the Ground. And here are River E. Wilds. Ooh, well. River Wilds. Is she John's wife? Dunno. Come on, lighthouse right there. Thank you. You know, if you hadn't have said that, I don't think I would have known the lighthouse was right here. It's not like it's sticking out of, like, you know, the ground or anything. Ah, stairs. We meet again. My oldest member er, enemy. I'm looking to climb those stairs. I'd be like out of breath at the top. Like, hey, I did it. I did it was worth it. And just like gasping. This is it. Ah, yeah, still more creepy bunnies. This is the bunny lord right here. All hail the bunny lord. Multicolored paper bat. Hail the better lord! Hey! Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Well, clearly it's possessed. Oh yeah, Johnny must have come up here again before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby though. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. What up? Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Why are you nosy? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. 
Yeet, stealing this rabbit, it's mine now. It's like, yeah, this looks pretty hard. This is, you know, property of a dying old man, but I'm gonna steal it anyways. Children, don't you want to see this old man die? Oh, why don't you be late by another half hour? Not like we had a dying client or anything. Not like you have a sassy attitude or anything either, Watts. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. And with a high ego. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. Where's the couch I'm blind? Oh, there it is. Is this a couch? Initiate. Let's initiate everything. Alright, here we go. Howdy there, partner. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Well, let's get him. I feel like we're like taking him out. Let's eat this boy where I'm at. Well, I missed the stairs by a landslide. Howdy there. Oh wait, no, that's a plant. <laughs> I'm not blind, I promise. I remember correctly, I think our boy, the John Master, is somewhere. Yep. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name's Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? Convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily's dead. No, okay. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Lily was a fake all this time. She was really a plant. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Sir, please don't die. <laughs> Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, this is his last accessible memory and we need its cooperation. If this comes to worse, we can just reboot it. That's reassuring. Why would you waste time like that? You... Looks so sad. You are here to take me to the room, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. Way to get to the point, Neil. So, you can do it. Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you to go there. Do you want the vein? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to go to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hop. 
thus we will need to tra tra <laughs> traverse through your memory with gradual backward leaps, which you've given us the permission to do in the relevant future. Once we lay down the waypoints to your childhood childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get a giant cow out of the pool. The point is, you'll need to have more than- you'll have to say more than I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, or cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a momentum of some sort to get us started? Well, you see, I have my dead wife's grave, and it mm, happens. That'll do. Well, shall we? Look, it's the little rabbit. The lady's first. He's the little rabbit. I'll poke that rabbit. Boop. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Prepare? No, just do nothing. Just sit there. That's a lot of code. I don't remember how to do this. Oh. It's this way, but... Oh, do I do oh, right. It's this. I don't know why this one didn't flip, but I... <laughs> Cannot be like the big deal. Activate. Yeah. Wait, what about my privacy? I try not to violate what we can avoid, but in most cases, it can't be helped. So we'll probably walk on you in the bathroom a couple times, you know what happens. You signed a contract, so this way you read the fine print, guys. Oh gosh, it's worse. They're like a plague, like infestation. Oh, look, it's a little platypus. Turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy. Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. What the? Do you hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of this memory. Oh jeez. He mad. And then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. I think I'm gonna cut it here, guys. This seems like a good place to cut, but I will make sure to record the next part of this really soon. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. I know it's not much to go off of, but trust me, I believe you guys will like it. And if there are things you want to see in the future in general, just make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share it with your friends, share it with your family, and be like, hey, look at this video. It's pretty cool. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!